Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. We're at IDF Shenzhen 2015. And if you remember IDF from September, we had a reference design with an e-ink display and we have the Skylake Edition here for us today. This has a resolution of 2560 by 1440. There's a real sense camera up on the top there, so that means we can do depth perception and we can also kind of unlock it with our faces. There's probably gonna be uh, pupil tracking, I know there's eye tracking already involved right now. Now if we take a look around the system, we've got the two speakers there on the front and around the side you can see that we have a display port. There's Thunderbolt. The, oh, Thunderbolt. Oh, Thunderbolt. USB 3, there's an SD card there, there's a SIM card slot there. That would be your headphone jack, volume rocker, and then that looks like a Thunder screw. <laughs> <laughs> and if we take a look at the back, this is where we have the e-ink display. What's the resolution on this display? Uh, I don't it's know. It's just an e-ink display. We don't really care, but it is interactive. Now, uh, if you check out my video from uh, San Francisco, you can see a bunch of the functionality that we put into there. You can have an e-book if your computer is off. You can put photos in there, like a sticker. You can have a family photo rotation thing. There's a ton of different things going on here, and this is why it's targeted at software developers, because Intel wants people to say, what are we gonna do with this? Let's innovate on this new platform. Now, along with the innovation of the e-ink display, which is totally cool, I love it, um, you also have Wi-Di and wireless charging into the base, and of course it is a touchscreen because it's like a tablet, and boom, we got some Windows 10 on there, because that action definitely needs to happen sooner rather than later. So this has just been a very quick walkthrough and a little doop hands-on with the new reference design aimed at software developers. If you are a software developer and you do want to get a hands-on with this and maybe develop on it, check out my article in the description and there'll be links to where you can try to contact Intel to get one of your own. Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. Bye.